In this video, I'm going to go over selecting which views we want to add to a drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on base, and then I'm going to go to this guide block here. Um, this is a pretty easy part. So when I'm picking a, uh, the views of the part, I don't always necessarily need to be stuck with the front, right, top, back, um, based on how it was drawn, or even how it's going to be orientated when I'm going to use it. Um, but when I'm picking my base view, or what most people would call as the, the front view position, I want to pick the most descriptive view of the part that will tell me the most about it, um, or that's the largest part. So now the scale is kind of big, so maybe I'm going to drop that down to 3 to 1. So if I look at this side here, that doesn't really make a good view because it has this hidden edge. Um, Turn that volume off for you. So if I pick that same part again, so that's from this view is just basically a rectangle. That's the back of it. So this one is actually a pretty good view. Um, I, I can see that's going to be a solid line there. So I'll go ahead and put this down. And so now I need to come up with a, what other views I need. So I come to a right view. Here we're going to have a solid face and a bunch of hidden stuff. Here I have the left view, and I'm going to see that feature here. So maybe I'll do a left view off of the space. And then, yeah, top so I can see those holes. So we, when we're setting up views, we want to see everything we can about the part in the most descriptive way and having the things be visible rather than hidden lines. And also we want to have holes showing up as circles, um, not as just hidden lines. So if I go to a new sheet, and now I want to add in maybe this part here. I think one will work. So you kind of want to adjust your scale so that way you have space around the part, if you're, especially if you're going to do multiple views. So I could pick this as a as my front view. That's a pretty descriptive part, view of it. And that one's pretty descriptive too. So it really doesn't matter which way. Um, the top view, do I want to see it this way? Or would I rather see it the other way? Um, so maybe I'll just pick that top view. And it's always kind of good to do a little isometric also. I'm going to create those. And so now I have these views set up and I can start working with them. Um, on the isometric, it might be good to just go ahead and make it shaded. And also, you see right here these edges. Those aren't real edges. You can see they're a little bit thinner. Um, those are just the tangent points that shouldn't show up as lines. Um, so if I go to, to the model or display options, I can turn that off here. And you can see it kind of it looks here. It looks pretty good in the shaded view. If I take the shaded off, I really lose a lot there. So I could turn those back on, but make them foreshortened. So now they're not going to go all the way to the edges. Um, so that's what I usually do um, with those. And you might want to make that isometric view a little bit bigger so that it's, it's easy to see. And so the isometric can be bigger or smaller than the other views. It doesn't really matter. Um, you just want to make sure that it's it's clear. Um, you can also do two different isometrics, one from the front, one from the back side, however you want it. So this is a pretty good layout for this drawing. Um, let me make a new one. Oh, new sheet. So now if I pick this coupler, now I've got some other options. So here's kind of a, a front view of it. So let's see what it looks like on isometric. So I have a couple holes on it, holes that go through. They're kind of counterboard from the top. So which one do I pick here as, a, as my front view? Do I pick this? Um, and how many views do I need this thing? So if I pick this here, this view really doesn't give me much more, so I don't need it. This one, it's probably good. I can see the 
the, the counter bore through there and the threaded holes. So that might be a good view. So if I create those, those are pretty good views there. Oh, you can see here that Inventor knows that in the orthographic views, the, the projected views not to have those tangent ed edges. But now it looks like this is just a flat plane here. So this is where I might want to go into this view and turn those tangent edges on. But right now I can't because it's using all the properties from its parent view. So I can take that off, tell it to use tangent, foreshorten them. So that way I get a little, couple little edges there, but they're not real dark and I'm not going to get it confused with the object lines. But I'm kind of wasting a lot of the paper. I've got this whole section here that's unused and I have all of this that's unused. So that's probably not the best layout for this drawing. So I could delete that view. And now if I just right click on the view, I can go to rotate. And so here, by having a horizontal select to that, that means anything edge I pick, so if I pick this edge here, it's going to turn that into a horizontal edge. And if I want to do the view on this side, right now I'm looking at the thread first and then the big hole. So I could rotate that, that around and say OK. And now I can project this view over here. Create that isometric also. Now I can kind of bring these down and I have a lot better use of the paper. So I'll go back in, unlink it. So now I've got a little bit better use of the paper. I can have space to dimension, I space to do things. So I hope this was a helpful, helpful video and I'll see you next time, or I guess you'll see me.